what's up guys thanks for coming back to my channel i'm prioritizing privacy so today what i want to talk about is cleaning up your windows hard drive uh, specifically getting rid of all the old junk files that are probably clogging it up and making it run slow and just taking up space and whatnot and whatnot and additionally getting rid of these uh, old hard drive files will also help kind of privatize your hard drive a little bit more too it's think of it as like cleaning up all the stuff that maybe you've deleted stuff that you don't want to be on there anymore uh things of that nature uh, so without any further ado let's jump right into it so first what we're going to do is hit the start menu uh either down here in the bottom left click on start or you can actually just hit the start button on your keyboard and we're going to type in cmd and that stands for command prompt now over here you'll notice that you can click on the app but don't click on it go over here onto the right hand side and click as run as administrator now if you're on a windows 7 computer you're going to actually want to go ahead and right click on it and select run as administrator but either one will work just fine so make sure you hit run as administrator now yours might look a little different than mine i'm running on windows sandbox so it's a little bit uh a little bit weird how mine shows up but if yours looks something like mine like it starts with users and then your username instead of the c system 32 or c windows system 32 i'm going to show you how to get there real quick so here's a real easy command prompt uh sorry command prompt command if you will uh, to get you out of this particular folder and get you into the folder that you need to be in so we're going to type in cd space dot dot and then cd space dot dot again and so what you should see is just c colon backslash with a little arrow there so now what we're going to do is we're going to get into our windows folder so we're going to say type cd and cd stands for change directory by the way in case you're wondering we're going to type in windows and then backslash system 32 and then hit enter and then this is what your command prompt should look like now now if yours already looked like that when you first open it up as, as administrator congratulations you win uh, I don't know what you win, but you win it. So there it is. So now that we're in System32, we are going to run a command within the System32 file, which, by the way, if you're wondering, System32 is kind of where Windows stores all of its utility files. So if you go to the Start menu and you type in something like Disk Cleanup right there, Disk Cleanup is one of the utilities that's actually stored in System32. So we can actually run it straight from this folder in the command prompt. So we're going to type in Clean, C-L-E-A-N, mgr no spaces so clean manager dot exe now if i just leave it like that it's actually going to run the clean manager uh the, the disk cleanup utility on its own but we don't want to do that what we want to do is add an extra little flair to it if you will uh, what we're going to do is kind of give it a command to tell it to do something in particular so we're going to type in space and then this is going to be forward slash and then we're going to type s-a-g-e sage and then set s-e-t all one word then colon and then the number one now press enter now when this comes up what you'll see is the disk cleanup settings these are the normal disk cleanup settings except there's a whole bunch of extra stuff here let me see if i can run the original one real fast disk cleanup there we go if i run regular disk cleanup that's not gonna let me run it that's okay if you run regular disk cleanup, you get maybe about like six or seven options here. But here in this Sage Set version that we've just run by from the command prompt Sage Set one, what we have is a whole bunch of options that aren't normally available to the average user. Okay, and what this means is that we can access a whole bunch of things that normal people don't actually get to delete with their disk cleanup. See, disk cleanup is kind of meant for just kind of cleaning up basic stuff but if you're a super user a power user or you're somebody like yourself who's interested in privatizing your hard drive a little bit better then you have access to these more uh, intense options in disk cleanup so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select each one of these things and i'll explain why in just a second but you can go ahead and read through each of them and decide which ones are most important and which ones are least important to you i'm going to be honest with you if you check all of them it's not going to make any difference in your life except for this one right here recycle bin this automatically emp empties the recycle bin every time you run disk cleanup and so what that means is that if you delete something and then you and it sends it to the recycle bin and then you run disk cleanup then that thing's gone you can't get it back, or at least it's really difficult for you to get back, all right? So just keep that one in mind. If you are somebody who like, you know, knows that you delete stuff, but you might want to retrieve it again, leave that one unchecked, all right? But all the rest of these, you can pretty much check them and it's no big deal. Oh, also, if you have file history turned on on your computer, you can leave this one unchecked as well. 
I don't have it on, so it doesn't matter. But if you have, and I'll show you what that looks like. If you go to the Windows uh, Windows screen or the app screen, and you double click on Home, and if you go to, I believe it is, oh, here it is, right in Home, right here in History. If you have that selected, if you've ever clicked on this History button right there, and you've set up Windows File History, then it might be a good idea to not turn this on to not check this but if you have no idea if you've done that or not and you click on that and you notice that like just like mine um, if you click on it it asks you to set it up or whatever or it's not even an option then you can just go ahead and ignore that you can go ahead and check it or uncheck it it doesn't really matter but if you know that you don't have any history for sure leave it checked and then we're gonna hit OK so the idea here is sage set is setting how we want to run the disk cleanup every time we run it all right so now if i type in the same thing as before clean mgr.exe forward slash sage but in this in this case instead of set we're going to write sage run and then colon one what this is going to do is it's going to now run the disk cleanup utility using the set one that we just set in our last command so all those check boxes that's what's going to be run when we click enter so I hit enter and i should see the disk cleanup utility show up in just a second if my computer wants to kind of catch up here and what this does is it kind of like streamlines how your disk cleanup utility will actually run and makes it a little bit there we go and it hit enter properly all right and that's it uh this and like i was saying it, this streamlines it a little bit better what it does is it makes more of the stuff that needs to be deleted get deleted when you run disk cleanup utility now this is kind of a pain to go through every single time you've already done sage set no big deal but sage run you don't want to have to do all of this you know open up command prompts type in you know as it, or use it as administrator and do all this stuff so there's actually an easier way so i'm just going to go ahead and close that sage set one is already set all right so no big deal there so i can close this we're going to go back to windows our start menu and we're going to type in note pad there we go this one you don't have to run as an administrator you can just run as a regular person I'm going to zoom in just a little bit so you can see now what we're going to do here is we're going to make what's called a batch file if you've ever done any programming before well then this is going to be old hat to you but if you've never programmed before here is your first program ever all right so check it out so we're going to type in c we're going to type in colon and then backslash and then windows backslash system 32 backslash clean mgr clean manager dot exe space sage sorry forward slash sage s-a-g-e run r-u-n all one word colon and then one now if this looks familiar it should this is exactly what we typed into our command prompt just a second ago all right but this time what we're going to do is we're going to save this as instead of a text file we're going to save it as a batch file so i'm going to save it to my desktop and I'm just going to call it something like clean computer. And you can call this whatever you want, honestly. Uh, you can call it clean computer. You can clean my computer. You can call it clean. You can just name it whatever you want. It doesn't matter. But the important thing here is at the very end, after the name of the file, you're going to type in dot and then BAT. And BAT stands for batch file. And when you save it, it won't look like a typical text file. It'll look like this weird gear icon file. All right, so I can close that. And now, if you double click on this, it automatically runs disk cleanup for you right off the bat using Sage Run 1. That's it. Instead of having to type in, in the Windows Start menu, disk cleanup, and then have to start the disk cleanup app from here and do all the checkboxes and everything, or instead of having to bring up the command prompt and type in, in all those CDs and everything and get into the right folder, instead, all you have to do now is just simply double click on this whenever you want to clean your computer and it will clean it for you. That's it. Super simple, super easy. And it doesn't have to do it anymore because I've already done it. But there you go. And so like if you find yourself, you know, throughout the day chilling and you're like, oh, I need to clean up my computer or it's running a little bit slow. Just go ahead and double click on that batch file real quick and you should be able to run your disk cleanup utility instead of having to search for it all through the start menu. So anyways, that I hope was helpful. And in my next video, I'm going to actually show you how to take it one step further and automate this so that it does it on its own without you having to click for it or search on it or sort of click on it or search for it or anything like that. All right. So hope to see you then and have a great day.